In this video I'm going to show you how you can set up your Raspberry Pi and use it. So the Raspberry Pi is a very small computer and this lets you do a lot of stuff with it. So the Raspberry Pi comes with analog video out, audio out, two USB 2.0 ports, Ethernet port, a HDMI port and micro USB for power. And that's pretty much all you need to get started with the Pi. There are a variety of operating systems available for the Raspberry Pi, but we are going to be using the new out-of-the-box software to set this up easily. So to download this, you'll want to go to raspberrypi.org slash download, and there are two options available for the new out-of-the-box software. There's an offline and network install, or there's a network install only option. The difference between this is that one of the versions has the operating system pre-downloaded in there, while the light version doesn't. So download the zip file for either one and then we will continue. So once you've downloaded it, you want to right click on the SD card in this PC and then you want to format it. So we'll just wait for that to finish. It should get done pretty quickly and then we'll copy over the OS. So you want to open up the SD card and open up the zip file and select all of the files in the zip file and just drag them over to the SD card. It's that easy to just copy over the OS. So take out the SD card and now put it in your Raspberry Pi. So what you want to do now is plug in your SD card, keyboard, Ethernet and a mouse if you want to. And of course you'll monitor it to the Raspberry Pi. And now it's going to boot the operating system. And here we are going to choose the operating system that we want to install. There are a variety of ones available, but we are going to be choosing Raspbian because it is recommended for people that are starting with the Raspberry Pi. Now you can press I to install or click in the install button and then just click yes to confirm that you want to install Raspbian. It will now begin to download Raspbian and it will be back once it has finished. So now that the OS is installed, we're going to click OK and the Raspberry Pi is going to reboot. This boot time is going to take a while, but I've sped this up quite a lot just to save time in the video. So once it boots, it's going to take you to the configuration screen. And you can do a variety of things here, such as changing your passwords, booting to the desktop by default, changing your location. You can even enable the camera. That's an accessory that you can get for the Raspberry Pi add it to the map of the Raspberry Pis called Rastrack. You can also overclock your Raspberry Pi. And in advanced options you can configure overscan for the monitor, change the host name, change the amount of memory that you want to allocate to the GPU, configure SSH, and I've done a video on this, you can check it up there. You can also configure audio and updates and stuff like that, but we're gonna tap finish. And I'm just going to boot to the desktop to show you what the desktop looks like on the Raspberry Pi. So it will take a while to load, but once it boots up, it will look like this. So it has the Raspberry Pi wallpaper and a selection of tools available that you can use. You can also install other ones using the terminal, and I think they even have an application store built into the operating system, so you can get programs that way as well. But that's been it for this video, hopefully it helped out, if it did make sure to like and share the video, but otherwise make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.